Alright, so today we're doing part one of finishing the GS500 Dune Buggy. We're finally making this video. So, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be replacing these old, tiny, bald tires with these much bigger and much better tires from Go Power Sports. The front tires on here, they're 15 inch. We're going to be replacing those with these. These are 20 inch tires. The rear tires on here, they're 20 inch. We're going to be replacing those with a 22 inch tire. We're also going to be strengthening the rear axle. Originally on here, there is a one inch axle connecting everything. We're going to be replacing that with an inch and a quarter axle. Hopefully that inch and a quarter axle is going to be strong enough to be able to withstand the immense weight and the torque of this engine. So basically what we're doing is we're just upgrading everything on the rear axle. This is the original axle setup with the one inch axle, the sprocket, and the brake disc. And this is everything we're replacing it with. Now this is an inch and a quarter solid uh, round stock. And an inch and a quarter doesn't really seem like it's going to be that much bigger, but once you put them side to side, you know, it just looks a lot bigger and a lot beefier. And because this didn't have any keyways, when I bought this, I bought this locally at my uh, local metal supply store. I was honestly a little surprised at how cheap this was. I think this was like around five feet in length 
and it was only like 45 bucks for this thing. So, you know, I was a little surprised how cheap this was, but because it didn't have any keyways in it, I had to mill in my own keyways, which was, I'll be honest, a little bit tricky with my homemade lathe, but I was able to pull it off. I milled five different keyways for four hubs, one keyway for something extra that I, yeah, that I may want to add later on. Now, because nobody really sells inch and a quarter hubs for go-karts, I had to make my own. I found these small hubs from Tractor Supply. I had to use two of them, each hub, welded them together, lined up the keyways perfectly, and you know, weld them together using really thick tubing and using gussets. You guys may say that, you know, this is a little bit overkill with wheel hubs, but I want to make sure this go-kart will withstand anything I throw at it. So I wanted to make everything just super big, super beefy, so therefore it can withstand any abuse I throw at it. Now this is the hub for the brake disc, and this is the hub for the bigger sprocket. Now we're also using Go Power Sports um, bearings. This is an inch and a quarter inner diameter bearings. I'll have a link in the description below to that. The brake disc we're using off of the front end of the Honda CBR. The original brake disc was uh, off of the back end of the Suzuki GS500. The CBR brake disc is just a little bit bigger, so I'm hoping it has, you know, just a little bit more stopping power. So that's why we're replacing that. And um, we're also changing the gearing. So because we're putting on bigger tires, and because it never really had that much takeoff acceleration power that I wanted it to have, it was kind of... It was kind of the thing, you know, when you're taking off, you really had to floor the engine and let the clutch slip a lot. Otherwise, you're just going to kill the engine and you're going to have to restart it again. So, because of that, I'm changing the gearing a lot, as, as much as I can do with buying stuff online. So, originally, there was a 46 tooth sprocket to a 14 tooth sprocket on here, and we're replacing that with an 11 tooth sprocket to a 62 sprocket. I'm hoping this will give us the kind of acceleration power that I've been wanting for this dune buggy.
All right, so last night I just finished putting on the new tires. I'll admit, if this took a lot longer to do than I originally thought it was going to take. I thought it was just going to be originally just slapping on the new tires and that's it. But because I wanted to add a bigger axle, an inch and a quarter axle, I had to make the hubs from scratch. I had to move the engine, you know, reposition the new axle. That took a lot of time. It took probably almost a week to make the hubs alone. That took a lot of time. Getting those things perfect where I can slide them on the axle without them binding up or, you know, once I welded them all together, hopefully they're, you know, perfectly centered, perfectly aligned to where it's not, the tire's not going to be wobbling or, you know, tracking off. So that took a lot of time getting those things perfect and I think I got them pretty, pretty close to perfect. But uh, yeah. So next video of this project is going to be Fixing the engine, in case you guys are wondering, I, it's still having the issue of not wanting to run for more than five minutes. I think I finally figured out what is exactly wrong with the engine. I bought new parts to replace on here. I'll be saving more info for the next video. So next video is going to be fixing the engine, hopefully, and getting the wiring all hooked up again, getting the engine running, and possibly a test drive, but no promises there. Now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me the tires that I used for this project, plus the hubs and other miscellaneous stuff that they gave me that I haven't put on here yet, I'll be posting links, links in the description below to the parts I used for this project. Go check all that out. Plus, I'll be posting links to the sprockets that I bought off of Amazon for this project. So, yeah, go check all that stuff out. But um, I have to end the video here, and I have to immediately start the next video of this project because... I'll be honest, the, the, this past couple of months have kind of been a little crazy for me being out of town for work, being back into town, you know, for a couple of weeks, being out of town for a couple of weeks. It's kind of been a little crazy trying to just maintain being able to upload just one video a week. So I'm, I just got back into town, I think five days ago. I have another five days of being in town. So before I go back out of town, I was out of town, I believe for two and a half weeks. So I was still able to upload stuff because before I went out of town, I just rushed and made a bunch of videos before going out of town and uploaded them while I was out of town. So I'm still trying to do the same thing of rushing, making a bu as many videos as possible so I can still upload stuff while I'm out of town for work. So just kind of bear with me. I apologize if you know it's taking me forever to figure out how to sell t-shirts. I'm still trying to figure out how to make my own website so I can sell t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. Bear with me with that. I'm still trying to figure all that stuff out. In case you guys are wondering, I'm a one-man show. So while being out of town half the time and still trying to do this stuff, it's kind of been, you know, really hard to just still maintain doing this. So I Please bear with me. I'm trying to do it as best I can with, you know, the limited time that I have while being in town and how long it takes to make videos. But enough rambling, enough complaining. But yeah, I have to end the video here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a nice day.